Greetings, this is Amy Wentley with Chai Knuckles Knitting, and this is episode 2020-8, the Brioche Workshop, Brioche Twisted Headband. This is row two, wrong side A and wrong side B. Notice I corrected my slide. <laughs> um, this is a series of three videos. The first one was setup rows. The second one was row 1A and 1B, and this is the third, row 2A and 2B. These are wrong side rows. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, please go ahead and watch those and then join us here to do row two. So these are the instructions in the pattern for row two. This is wrong side A and wrong side B. A is this color, B is this color, and we're working on the wrong side. We know we have both yarns here coming off the right side of our work. So we know we're ready to work. If you ever pick up your work and your yarns are on different sides, you actually stopped in the middle of a row and you'll need to go ahead and finish that second color, color B, to get you to the point where you have both of your yarns on the right side, your working yarns. We're gonna start with color A. So the first instruction is knit one. This is our border stitch. We're always knitting the first stitch. So, this border stitch. So here we go. The next instruction is slip one yarn over. You'll notice that the next stitch is a dark stitch all by itself and so it needs a hood. So we're going to bring the yarn to the front, slip the stitch, and take the yarn over the needle. The next stitch is a burp one which is a brioche pearl. So when we take the yarn over we're going to have to bring it back to the front in order to purl the next stitch. So we're purling the stitch and its hood together for a brioche purl, burp. And then we're gonna do a slip one yarn over. And that always starts with the yarn in front and our yarn is already in the front, so we're fine. We wanna slip this next plain dark stitch and we want to take the yarn over the needle we're going to be doing a burp next, so when we take the yarn over the needle, we're going to want to bring it back to the front to purl, and we're going to brioche purl the stitch and its hood together. And then I'm going to switch over for the continental folks. So holding the yarn in your left hand, the yarn is in front, you're going to slip the next stitch, and you're going to take it over the top, to give that plain dark stitch a hood and bring the yarn to the front again to brioche purl the stitch and its hood together. And then you are going to, you have the yarn in front, yarn is in front, you're going to slip the next stitch and take it over the right hand needle to give it a hood. You're going to bring it back to the front so that you can brioche purl the stitch and its hood together. The yarn is in front. You'll slip the next stitch, take the yarn over the top to give it a hood, bring it to the front, and burp those two next stitches together. You're going to have the yarn in front. You'll slip the next stitch, take it over, and bring it back to the front, and you will slip this last stitch with the yarn in front. It's right here. Okay, so we did that and we ended up with a border stitch dark stitch with light hood, light stitch, 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 dark stitch with light hood, border stitch. So the last instruction on this row says to slide, so we're going to slide all our stitches back to where our blue where our our contrasting yarn is. Okay? It's at the other end. So now we're in the middle of the row. We have one yarn on one end, one yarn on the other end, and this is the second half, so we're working with our B yarn. So in my case, it's the darker yarn. So the first instruction is slip one with yarn and back. So we slip that. Our yarn is back here, so we're set. The next is burp one, so we need to bring our yarn in front to brioche purl the next stitch and its hood together. The next instruction is slip one yarn over brioche purl one to the last stitch. So this is going to be a slip one yarn over. Our yarn is in front. We're going to slip 
The next stitch, take the yarn over the right hand needle and bring it back to the front so that we can burp the next stitch in its hood together. Our yarn is already in front. We're going to slip the next stitch, take the yarn over the top of the needle and bring it back to the front. We gave it its hood and now we're going to brioche purl those two stitches together. And now I'll switch to continental. Okay, there's a plain white stitch. It needs a hood. Our yarn is in front, so we're going to slip that stitch, take the yarn over, bring it to the front, and purl. We're going to slip the next stitch, take the yarn over the top, and bring it to the front, and burp. We're going to have the yarn in front. We slip the next stitch. We take the hood over the top of that stitch, bring it to the front and burp again. And then at the last stitch, we slip one with the yarn in front. So now we have our two yarns at the end of the row, excuse me. <coughs> and we, when we get to the end of that row, we have a border stitch, a plain blue stitch, a white stitch with a blue hood, blue stitch, light stitch with a blue hood, blue stitch, light stitch with a blue hood, blue stitch, light stitch with a blue hood, hood, blue stitch, light stitch with a blue hood, blue stitch, border stitch. So that's the end of row two. Now if you look at the front here, you've got a really nice two color brioche set up. Look how you have stripes showing now. And this is your right side. So it's knit, um, A beautiful knit um, V's in stripes going up on this side. Um, it's lovely. And you, um, this, the, this is done on big needles with big yarn. So this isn't as pretty as yours will be, but um, it, it will be delightful. And then on the back, you also have um, some bands working on the back that are very pretty too. And so this is the wrong side, but it's still, you know, very lovely. You have these kind of twisted V's going up. So it's a beautiful look, and uh, this is how you do it. So I appreciate your time. Um, please add any comments to these posts and for with any questions. And um, thank you. Thank you for viewing. See you soon. Bye.